Maiko Satomura, Noam Dar, thank you very much for Hello. stopping. And how nice is it to talk in person finally? It's a bit, it's a bit unusual, right? Yeah, I feel like I need to put like a screen between know. us just to normalise it a little bit. So we, we, we kind of got more comfortable sitting at laptops talking to people through screens. So this is nice. Yeah, it's um, nice to see people's face. How great has it been over the existence of NXT UK that, especially for us UK fans, we can watch this anywhere. We've got content that gets put on WWE YouTube, on a network, and BT Sport app. Mako, starting with you, how great is it to have such a wide audience that can learn and watch about you from the UK? Yeah, in WWE Universe, lots of people watching, yeah. And it's great as well, because you know, we get the chance for NXT to learn about more personalities. For yourself, Noam Dar, of course, we've been able to follow your career in many ways and capacities. For yourself, as far as the exposure and the change and the, the range of audience yeah. to watch you, how much are you, do you kind of pay attention to that? Do you kind of have your blinkers on, just focus on yourself, but do you notice there's a difference when there's that kind of wider audience that can consume what you do as work you know, via the internet? Uh, for me, I try and stay a bit kind of internally motivated. I don't look outside too much. It's nice to receive feedback and uh, critique from different audience members. But to be, I don't really care about their opinions. I care about mine. And my opinion is that I'm class and I'm always class. So whoever's on the other side of that is either getting to enjoy it or they can do their own thing. I'll be over here being cool as. What's been great, I guess, in the past year of WWE, and especially around WrestleMania, we had a lot, of, a lot more crossover, which is always great in building the brand. Of course, we had like Logan Paul was doing his thing um, with Sami Zayn. Um, Bad Bunny, of course, was a part of WrestleMania. If you could pick a celebrity to have a, a program, a feud with, who would you pick and why? Because mm. it's weird now in this world where we've got like Jake Paul calling out everybody. Yeah. You know, the, the, the YouTube versus the world kind of thing. And I figured, I, you know, I, I've asked this to Mark Andrews. I said, like, who, who would you pick? He said, he'd, of course, he would love to have Corey Taylor from Slipknot. But what oh, would you pick? That's a, that's a terrible choice. Well, um, it's what he loves. Yes. <laughs> well, and it's not going to be Slipknot for me. The masks are too scary. I would say, I don't know, I, like, I would like to get into it with Tyson Fury. I feel like he and I would have a lot of fun doing uh, the promos back and forth. And obviously the actual competition itself, I'll need as much assistance as I can get. Press but, tour would be unreal. Yeah, I feel like we'd have good fun. So in the most polite way, I'd like to casually suggest calling out Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury. Uh, After AJ. Yeah. Longer, you know, it's, it's a, a natural next step, obviously. Exactly. Forget anything of, you know, if you're thinking something with Drew McIntyre, forget yeah, it. No, no. No, I'm dark. Yeah, you know, we'll have a pleasant chat on Super Normal Absolutely. Sessions. Absolutely. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mako, is there anyone in the entertainment industry who you would love to do some kind of crossover with? Uh, I like it. Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish? Mm. Billie yeah. Eilish? Mako versus yeah. Billie Eilish. I'd love that. Or the Queen of England. Miko Satomura versus the Queen of England. Maybe the Queen. You go to Buckingham Palace before? Yes. Yeah, nice. Yeah. yeah, the Queen. Hi. Maybe we bang the door. Come on. The battle at the palace. Yes, absolutely. Satomura versus Queen Liz. <laughs> I love that. That'd be great. But Billie Eilish is a cool I, one. I went to Buckingham. Buckingham Palace, yeah. Uh, uh, just watching. One hour. Just watching. Yeah. It's incredible, right? It's lovely, right? See, this is a great thing now. Now you're, you're based here, you can actually appreciate the lovely city that is London. I mean, don't worry about these, uh, these ends. You've got West Ham <laughs> Football Club over there. It's, you, you won't have to worry about that. Yeah, Miko's a big Chelsea fan. Oh, you're a Chelsea? You're too, <laughs> no, I was no, going to say, imagine. I made that like, up for joke That's purposes. an excuse. And Miko is now a Chelsea fan. That's now your football Miko, you, but you love London, right? You like here. You spend some time vacation. I want to leave you want to live here? Yes. Wow. Maybe in Buckingham Palace? <laughs> you could live there. It can happen. It can yeah. happen, yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll get it signed up. We'll have a word. We'll that get, could we'll be the stipulation call. to the match. Miko versus Queen Elizabeth, Buckingham Palace on a pole match. What we could do is have like, you know, as now you're basically a TV presenter as well <laughs> yeah. now, you could be hosting the affairs, you know? Yeah, I'll, I'll present and I'll also be, sessions. I'll be in Miko's team in case it gets out That's it, you could be like the manager of this, because then yes. you get, a, you know, you're part of an yes. insanely good program, that'd be amazing. Miko and Noam versus the royal family. Oh, <laughs> book it now. <laughs> Easy. Book it now. Imagine Triple H being like, we're, we're booking what? Yeah. Be a free How cat. much does the Queen want? It's like, look. <laughs> They want good PR, we've yeah. got it. This is it, it's a spin the train, of course. 
Of course, recently on Twitter, um, Fox has been given fans the chance to vote for who they would like on the cover of WWE 2K2022. It's hard to say that. A lot of twos in that yeah. sentence. Fans voted Drew McIntyre and Sasha Banks as their go-tos. Now, NXT UK, if you were to pick, and I'm sure we would all say ourselves, but who would you pick for the cover of WWE 2K next, next year's one from NXT UK? Mm, that's a good question. I would say, I feel like you could uh, do like the old, do you know the old Smackdown versus Raw? Oh, yeah, multiple Raw? super, yeah. Yeah, Smackdown versus Raw 2005, I think it was Vince's face. Yeah, yeah. And he had the red and blue eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you could do that with Elia, and one eye could be going that way, and one eye could be going that way, yeah. because he's been banging his head off the wall oh, for 10 goodness. minutes. He has been, um, yeah, I, I, I hope it's all right. He's been, he's been, yeah. well, he's been putting himself That boy out. has some issues, but. I know, yeah. I, I, would, I would fear chatting to him, because I would be like, I would just want to be like, are you okay? And then I would, if he is okay, I would sit here and be scared. Yeah. So that would be I just want to ask him who hurt him. Yeah, you know I know, mean? yeah, we need to find out. Yeah. We need to find out. Mako, would you, is there a fellow colleague on the NXT UK roster that you would, you would pick to put onto the cover of the um, WWE 2K cover? So, video game? Video game? Video game, mm. the cover mm. on front of the box. Mm. Any NXT UK superstar? Yeah, photo for the video game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Miko says no, I'm down. No, I'm down. Yeah. Don't make it. Yeah, su no, Supernova 11, right, Miko? Thanks, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? See, that's it, exactly. Yeah. Just you at the front like that, yes. grinning away, happy times. My Japanese is getting very good. Yeah, you got to see that. This is it. It's a good game. Yeah. Forget Funaki now. You're yeah. the translator. Yeah. That's it. No, Miko no. and Noam and Town. See, this is it. We could, this, is, this could be the, the makings and the embers of something very yeah. special here because on these, you know, these media things, um, it's. Uh, I think we could do Miko and Noam does Benidorm. Yeah. Love that on can the get, road. Get that on the WWE Network. <laughs> get that, see. Someone now, write that down. Now we're pitching that. Guys, can we, can we write that down? We're pitching this. It's happening. Now, if we could pick a main roster pay-per-view that you would have your first big kind of program or feud with, what pay-per-view would you like to drop into? And who, who, I don't know, who would you fancy? Who would you fancy booking yourselves in with? I've always liked SummerSlam. Do you remember that um, SummerSlam advert where Brock Lesnar F5 the did shark. the shark? Yes. Yeah, I want to do yes. that. But I want to do it to a bigger shark. A bigger and shark. And then I want to look at the camera and say, your move, Brock Lesnar. Yeah. And what, what, so do. you reckon you'd book yourself with Brock in that as well? No, or no, no. no, no. You because the match just watch out, because he might take the, it the wrong the way. The match is against the, the shark. The match is against it. the toy. No, I'm done. It's the shark. shark. The big rubber inter shark. You could, won't interview, fight back. you could interview the shark yeah, and you could be like, yeah, he, he brutalized me, this yeah. happened, and you can make a thing out of yeah, it. Yeah, I can get, get a good I interview. Like that. Okay. I like the choice of SummerSlam. Yeah. SummerSlam feels for me, not that I would shy away from the pressure, but I feel like you would get a really good opportunity to have yeah. more of the spotlight because WrestleMania, of course. Everyone's on it. Yeah. Mako, if you could pick a pay per view. Um, on the main roster that you would insert yourself into, where would you like to be and why? Like Royal Rumble or WrestleMania, or maybe pay per view in Japan would be cool. Yeah, of course. That'd be cool. WrestleMania. WrestleMania, mm. yeah. That's it. Once, it, once the bright lights and, yeah. and, and all the international hype, I like that. That's exactly that's, that's, where Miko should be. That's where it should be, exactly. Main event of course, WrestleMania. Maybe you have, um, since um, joining the NXT UK roster, have you had a chance yet to? properly get in and help also train, because of course that was how it was reported that you were as a superstar, but also as a coach. Have you had an opportunity to train with um, superstars yet, and who have you been working with? Of course, on TV we have seen who you're working with, but is there anyone else behind the scenes you've been offering your knowledge? Okay. Yeah, Leah Ripley uh, came to Japan 10 years ago. I wrestled to, mm -hmm. with wrestler. Yeah. Nice. Mm. And do um, you like, your, when you coach in NXT UK, mm. you like helping everyone here? Yeah. The younger superstars Hi. in NXT mm. UK, mm. all very good, right? Very yeah. nice. They work hard, yeah. uh, passion, mm. lots of passion. Everyone has a lot of passion in NXT UK. We are a sports channel, um, and we love many sports, but of course, as my friendship circles and all my friends know, I'm mad about WWE, so, to, like we said, to finally be in person is a... It's a great feeling. It's yeah, a nice good. feeling. I'm glad. What um, sport? Do, I think I know your answer, Noam. But what sports are you a fan of personally, and why? Well, for me, obviously, football is number Jones. one. Yes, the Stephen 55. Gerard. We've just won a wonderful season. So, uh, Glasgow Rangers soccer soccer team, football team. 
uh, they, they won the um, championship this year. So I'm very happy. Do you I like sport? Any other sport you watch? Maybe yeah, sports. Uh, anything you like? Do you know sumo? Sumo wrestling, Japan, yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. 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 In Japan, nice. very popular. Yes. yes. You like it? Nice. That's cool. See, that's, I would love to go real, to a show. Let me just say, that's a real sport. Yeah, that is Come a real on. sport. The battle of strength, and as a spectacle, it looks incredible. Mm. That is legitimately part, I have family that lives in Hiroshima, and I really, really want to go. That's cool. Man. I was meant to go, but then I had a, had a new job, and I was like, I, I want to go do this. So my brother and my mum went, I didn't get to go to Japan, so I'm very sad. Final question from me. We like to do a section called recommendations. We mm. want to give our audience you know, we want to share. It's all about sharing here. Sharing so, as caring. We, we ask our guests different kind of questions because we might be missing out on something that you guys might be into. So I want to ask you first, is there a TV show or a series, a docu-series that you might be watching on like Apple TV, Amazon, Netflix, whatever, maybe on YouTube that you're watching currently mm. and it's that good that the masses should know and should watch it as well? Well, it's not one that it's... Uh that I'm watching currently as such, but it is my favourite TV show of all time that should uh, always be checked out and I'll always go back to it. Still Game, okay. if you've heard of it, it's a Scottish sitcom. Um, I no idea. I'm not so going to be one of those people that sits there and goes, yeah. oh yeah, so I literally have no idea. What that's the cornerstone of TV entertainment for us, so everything emanates from that. So I would say you guys should uh, go ahead and check out Still Game, it's on Netflix, and see if you can uh, keep up with the Scottish pattern. Make up about yourself. Are you watching anything on, you know, on the laptops, on the phones when you're travelling? Something that you love watching that we should also watch? Um, I want to watch soccer. You like watching so, soccer? Yeah, 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 you want to watch I, soccer? Mm. Maybe we go to a football game together? Yeah, yeah. please. Miko and Noam do Ibrook Stadium. There we go. This Fantastic. is it. We, we've got it all figured out. Yes. We've kind of got some weird press talk vibe going mm -hmm. in here where we can go to Buckingham Palace, do our stuff here. We go visit Tyson Fury, sort yeah. out, go check in on the shop that Brock Lesnar messed up, and then we go and finish it off. At Absolutely. Rangers. And then once we're done, Benadorm, two weeks all Benadorm as well, that's the rap party, that's where we yes. end up. So I think we've got this all figured off. We, we will have to go and check on scheduling and yeah. how we can arrange we'll, this, this new. We'll need to check in with I think old reality, but yeah. until then, let's, uh, NXT on let's the entertain these we'll ideas. We'll figure this out, but nevertheless, um, Mako Satamura, Noam Dar. Thank you so much for chatting to us on the Alternative Sports Show. Thanks for having us on, mate. And there you go. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Very Good job, much. Miko. Thank you so much. It's really fun. Cheers, Appreciate man. It was good. Appreciate it, man.